Yo, 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 it's Jimmy G23 here, and welcome to my very first video on cheap OP um, meta midfielders. Um, really, you know, just going based off of the, the Gullet gang, essentially. And um, I'm not including like the Hender and the Ender Herreras, the, the Freds, um, some of those more popular players. Um, I'm not including them. It's really anyone from. Uh, um, from the rating between 81 and 83 for this video. It's just some cheap players, really for starter squads. Um, being able to find some. Some of these guys are hidden gems. Uh, some of these guys you may know. Some of these guys you may not know. Um, we'll see if they fit in your teams. We'll see if they don't. Um, but there's some really great um, players in here for you guys um, to look at to add into your starter squads if they fit, you know. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. By the way, I'm using Footwiz. Um, the way I use it is I just go in advanced search, go to ratings and uh, stats, and then I just enter the positionings and I did pay 70, defense 70 to really start finding the, the true meta players. You could do it by, by position as well. Just a quick intro to that, just to let you guys know how I'm doing my research. Um, but I already found these guys, and let's go to the very first one, starting at the 83 rated. Uh, Manu, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. This guy's really, really nice. Um, the reason why he's nice is one that he's four star, four star as a center mid. Um, he is he also what I like about him is he has decent uh, defensive stats. He has great shooting stats, um, eighty one shot power, eighty um, long shots. His positioning is great. His short passing game and a little bit of his long passing game is great as well. He's tall, five ten. Um, Work rates are medium, medium, so they're not terrible. Um, he has great jumping stats. His stamina is 77. His strength could be a little bit improved, um, but his dribbling is great as well. Heading accuracy and his jumping, so he's great for corners um, or getting the ball out. Um, he's also 5'10". Standing tackle, a lot of a lot of great stuff in here from this card. Um, a little bit of that goalie, the goalie gang card right here. Um, I don't think he'd be too expensive just because he's not one more of the popular Spanish cards as well as the... Um, just a popular card. I think he is a little bit of a hidden gem. Find ways to throw this guy in your squad. I think he would do great for you guys. Um, uh, let me just see if I have any last comments uh, for for him. Um, oh, and chemistry. So one last things um, I would have you probably guys do is apply an artist um, chemistry to him. And the reason why you would want to do that is because um, look at this. It bo it's boosting his um, center mid overall to an 88 which is phenomenal um, I think chemistries are gonna be a play a big part this year um, just because of the balance and uh, just because of what EA just came out with with that article I'm scrolling up a little bit for you guys um, so really boost his passing and his dribbling stats it's phenomenal for center mid he has great shot powers like I said long shots you could apply anything else but the artist um, uh, chemistry boosts him to the highest rated potential which is an 88 for a center mid for this card um that's five rating stats um take a look at them let me know what you guys think um but i'm gonna go move on to the next one right here next up we have party you guys may know him um he might be popular um i've seen him in a couple of videos for some triangles um some of you guys may not know what i really like about him is ones that i think he's a little bit more of a true center defensive mid he has high attacking work rates high defensive work rates he is 6'1", so he's tall as well. He's a little pace. I mean, 73 pace, 75 pace, I think is pretty good, especially starting off. He has great long shots or decent long shots for being a center defensive mid. Um, short passing is pretty good, too. 85, vision 73, not bad. Ball control, um, dribbling is pretty good You know, for a center defensive mid. I think he'd probably be, a, um, if there's a way to put him as a, a center back, that'd be phenomenal. Um Last thing, uh, his physicality is phenomenal. He has the stamina, he has the jumping, he has the strength as well, um, and he has a standing tackle. Also, the chemistry you guys need to put on him, which is amazing. So right now, he's an 82 rated. And you throw a powerhouse on him, 88. He would be an 88 rated center defensive mid. It's boosting his passing and his defense as well. I just think this is great. Um, it's the highest rating he can get on a center defensive mid. I already went through all the chemistry, so you guys don't need to do that. Um, trust me on the powerhouse um, is really what will boost him. And one of my things that I'm thinking too with these chemistries is that this is going to get him to the highest potential and have the highest player ratings during the game. Um, but next up, I don't know how to pronounce his uh, name, um, but he's a France, French player, uh, 
Condogbia. Condogbia. Um, what I like about him is he's 6'2", high medium work rate. Um, what I don't like about him is that he has two-star weak foot, but he does have four-star steel moves. Um, phenomenal long shots as long as it's with his correct foot, which is the left foot. Um, and I'm noticing now. Um, his sprint speed is not bad. His acceleration is uh, uh, not, not too good, but um, once, he, once he gets running, I'm sure he'll be fine. Short passing is decent. Reactions is phenomenal. Ball control again. Agility and balance, they're so-so, but they're not terrible. Defense is solid, and his stamina, his strength is a 91, so a phenomenal card, I think, to have. Um, another gem here, high medium, probably have him as a center mid, but if you guys have him as a center defensive mid, Again, you're going to find a common thing throughout this is the powerhouse is really what's going to get him to a 91 rated center defensive mid, which is insane. He's a 91 rated, and it's because his um, physicality is already at an 88 rated. So throwing this on is just going to make him a phenomenal center defensive mid. Hopefully, hopefully this is a gem. Hopefully this is, uh, this is helping you guys out. Um, let's go up to the next one. He was a French player in the Spanish leagues. Find a way to throw him in your, in your squads. Um, next up, we have Bonaventura. You guys are probably already, already know him. He might be more popular. He might not be as popular. I wasn't quite sure when you guys thought. Um, but he's a solid, uh, really meta player here. Um, what I try to do is find all of them, you know, all the face stats really at 70 and above, except for obviously Manu, the Spanish player you guys saw earlier. Um, but he's phenomenal. Four star skill moves, three star weak foot, high attack and work rate, medium uh, defensive work rate. He is kind of tall too, 5'11, taller than me. Um, his acceleration is nice, not bad. Um, he great long shots, and a three star weak foot, not bad, but you definitely want to shoot with his right foot. Um, his passing stats are pretty good. Um, his dribbling stats are, are great as well. Um, he might be a little bit expensive, but not quite sure. We'll see how that plays out. His defense isn't terrible as well. This kind of, kind of reminds me of. Uh, 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 the Herrera card and their Herrera card um, a little bit and his stamina is great so one of the things you guys may want to do um, for him so I have a couple of uh, chemistries to apply so if you guys want to use him as a center attacking mid um, definitely want to apply the artist to him um, and that's going to boost him to an 88 rated cam or an 88 rated um, center mid um, so it's the highest rating so what I noticed for center attacking mids with, with, with meta cards specifically um, with center mids, with meta cards, or center defensive mids with center uh, uh, meta stats, it's either artist or powerhouse that you guys want to use. And then if you guys notice with the powerhouse, so 88 rated for a center mid. And then with if you're going to throw the powerhouse on there, he's going to be 85 rated center defensive mid. Um, but he maintains as an 88 rated uh, center mid overall. So if you guys want to go a little bit more defense, it's the powerhouse. A little bit more agility and a little bit more attacking, use the artist for him. Um, he might be expensive, maybe not, maybe two, three thousand coins early on, maybe four or five, depending, fifteen hundred, not really sure, depending on how this goes. Um, next up for you guys, I have, as soon as it pops up, is Alex Witzel. So this might be a little bit more of a popular choice, um, just because of his recent transfer, possibly a ones to watch. We'll see if he is. Um, he, he'll probably be great to have. Um, what I like about him, four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot, he is tall, 6'2". Um, medium medium work rates uh, sprint speed 74 not too bad he has great finishing stats though for center mid 78 uh, shot power 74 long shots um, and decent finishing and positioning as well um, just continue looking at it. short passing is not bad it's at 83 dribbling is not bad at all as well other than his balance um, but I'm not too worried about that so if he gets fouled in the box he's going down and that's a penalty um, defense is also great too I mean everything's 70 and above his strength is phenomenal, 81, 88 stamina, so he won't get tired during the game. Um, like I said, he's tall, decent jumping stats, great heading stats. He's great for headers. Um, the chemistry you would want to apply on him as well is either Artist or the Powerhouse. I'll show you guys right here, right now. The Artist brings him up to a set 87, uh, 86 center mid, and then the Powerhouse um, brings him up to a 86 center defensive mid, and it maintains an 86 rated center mid. So like I said before, either if you want to go a little bit more offensive, you guys like the dribbling, or a little bit more defensive, you guys want the powerhouse. Um, both are the two prominent ones to make them the highest rated possible for a midfielder, uh, for a center mid. Next up, I think this is a gem for you guys. I think this is something that I'm going to add if I use Spanish League, is Daniel Wass. Um, I think he's a really solid meta card. 
Um, he has decent pace, four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. He's 5'11", so not too bad. High attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate. He has phenomenal shooting stats for early cheap card. Um, 76, 74 finishing, positioning, 86 shot power, so it won't take a whole lot. His passing is really good, too, if you look at his short passing, his free kick accuracy. So you could use him. He could be your free kicker early on in the game. Um, dribbling not bad. His balance is is not terrible. So if he goes down, he's gonna go down in the box to get the penalty. Um, defense isn't bad. It's a 72 interception standing tackle. Most important. Um, you're not gonna be slide tackling really with the center mid. Uh, if you do, hopefully you um, you hit it. Stamina is 90, so he's not gonna get tired. Uh, once again, if you guys notice, uh, oh, actually this is actually different different chemistry for him. So the chemistry you're gonna use for him actually. Um, is the maestro and that's really going to boost the shooting the passing and the dribbling to give him an 86 rated center mid or center attacking mid which is phenomenal um, that's going to boost him really high um, i wonder i did i did this all but i forget now oh power oh powerhouse is going to bring him up to an 87 and then i'm sure the artist is going to keep him at an 87 or 88 i don't know why i did maestro um uh, probably just to boost the shooting stats if i always choose him i'd probably use him as a cam um, but Powerhouse, Artist, or Maestro, um, all great for this card. And then last but not least, I have Hector Herrera. Um, off league, you know, not too not too big, um, but he is a Hispanic player. Maybe you want him to come off the bench. I don't know. He'd be a great substitute in the Portuguese, Portuguese um, league. Um, what I liked about him is, one, he has high attacking work rates, high defensive work rate. He is six foot as well. Um, Three-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, pace isn't bad, shot power is not bad, long shots isn't bad as well compared to the rest of them. Not terrible, short passing is not terrible. Just a, you know, what, what I thought about this card is just really having him on the bench and bringing him on as a solid substitute. His marking is great, standing tackle is great, and his interceptions are great. Strong, phenomenal stamina. He won't get tired, and he's aggressive too. So not only is he going to be running up and down the pitch, but he won't get tired. He's going to constantly be there and 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 be there. So I think this is a phenomenal card um, to have as a substitute or even early in the game if you want to find a way to throw him in there. If you're doing uh, uh, Mexico squad, he would be great to have, phenomenal to have. Um, so that's it, guys. You know, ran through the players. Um, some key takeaways here. I had one, two, three... Um, four Spanish uh, España uh, center mids who are a little bit more metas. Um, then we had one uh, Bundesliga. We had uh, Hector Herrera, and then we have uh, one Cal COA. Um, I think uh, higher rated. I think the uh, La Liga has um, great meta cards. Um, but if you guys, I'm going to be coming out with a little bit more videos. So these, so this video was based on 83 to 81. I'm going to come out with uh, 78 to 80, and then 75 to 77. Um, and I would do this for the midfielders and the center back specifically. And because the reason why I noticed with that is that that's your core. That's honestly your core, um, including the goalkeeper. And you really want your core strong. You want your core balanced. And so that's why I would mention and I would have a lot of these players for you guys. Um, that's it, guys. Um, my social media link is down below. Uh, JimmyG23 at, on Twitch. I'll be streaming this. Um, and then... Uh, Jimmy G G23 on Instagram and then at your green foot um, at Twitter. All the links are down below. Jimmy G23 is out. Peace.